Alrighty, welcome back. We're at it again. It's Sunday fun day. Uh, I know that probably most people that watch the videos or whatever um, basically get to work on their cars Saturday and Sunday, maybe Friday night. You know, you get to work on it. But Sunday fun day, I'm, I'm going to try to get a little bit done. And I'm hoping that everybody that works on their cars gets a little bit done on their cars. You know, it's, it's hard to have a job and, and besides try to build a a car that you have passion for and it is a passion you know if you're coming you're working you know Monday to Friday and then at the end of Friday you have a couple of days to work on your car to get something done you really have to set a goal and go for it and uh, on Sunday sometimes is the day that you get things done and today I'm going to try to get the trunk lid painted on the inside and I'm going to try to two-tone the dash we're going two-tone on this car on the inside the top of the car is going to be coral it's Calypso Coral, I think it's called, and the bottom is Wimbledon White. So this is what it looks like together. I just put the the, da the dash door and the, uh, I, not the ashtray holder, Jolene's lipstick holder. So that's the two colors that are going together. I just got them covered up there. You can see basically what the two colors are going to look like together. It's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's gorgeous. And then we're going to put a black, probably a black Thunderbolt down the middle of the car to separate it or use some black somewhere to separate it. I'm not sure on everything yet. Things change all the time. I basically just want to cover this stuff up so no nothing gets gets on it basically and I don't think anything will. I spent the morning sanding down sanding down the trunk lid. Uh, I got that pretty well sanded down. It's a hard old go, you know. There's a lot of work that goes into the underneath of a car that you would never think, you know, if I say I spent uh, two hours sanding the underneath of this trunk lid, you'd probably say, wow, you're kind of, but that's what it takes, you know, you, you do what it takes, and it was a 220 process and a 400 process. I cheat it wherever I could. I say cheat it, I always say cheat it. I always say cheat when it's, when you can do it a little faster somehow, you can figure out a way to do it faster. And wherever I could take a DA to it, I would take a DA to it just so I could get it done quicker. It does not matter if it's straight or not, not underneath the trunk lid. So basically this is what's gonna happen on the, underneath the trunk lid. This is what I'm thinking. Or you can actually come take a look at the bottom of the trunk lid. I have got no lip on the trunk lid. I, I for some reason, I wanted, you know, when I first started Elvis, I wanted to do the car a little bit different just a little bit different. And I wanted to clean up the inside of the doors and the trunk lid and the hood area. And I, what I did is I sandblasted that and then I fiberglassed it and filled it out so there's no lip all the way around. And it just kind of smoothed it up a little bit. Uh, if you do not know or do not, or if you do not realize or not, but um, you must realize when the, the low rider guys, when they have their murals inside there, they must have taken, like I'm, you know, I'm doing an educated guess, they must have taken a, a piece of metal and laid it over top of this and then welded it on top of this so it was smoothed off so they could do that mural on there because you would never do a mural on that sort of inner construction piece going on. So basically what I'm going to do with this trunk lid is I'm going to paint it, paint it Calypso Coral, the coral, the, the pinkish, reddish, orangey color. I'm going to paint it all this color and then inside here it generally is the insulation that you have on the hood. And I'm going to, after it's all painted, I'm going to do another step on it. I'm going to tape it off, and I'm going to probably rock guard this section in here, this section, that section, to make it look like the insulation that it may have had or would have had or what I'm going to make it look like. I'll clip so coral it all. Then I'll have to tape it all off and then rock guard inside there. So you'll know how much work's involved just on the underside of the trunk lid. And I'm, I'm only doing two steps. Can you imagine um, putting stripes in it and murals on it and taping it? Basically, there's a lot of work when that stuff goes on. Uh, to restore cars, a lot of work. So all the people that are watching these videos that are restoring cars, hats off to you because I know what you're going through. It's, it's, a, lo it's a long process. And basically, um, the process and, and the journey is basically where it's at. You know, I, I know it's fun to drive them and that sort of stuff and whatever, but the journey of doing it and taking pride in what you're doing and having fun with it is basically probably the best part. Um, I think I've said it before. Uh, sometimes I don't, I don't even care if I really drive the cars. It's, it's building them, that what I have fun with. You know, once it's built, well, it's kind, of, it's kind of over. You get to drive it and it's over. You drive it and have fun with it, whatever, but it's on to the next project for me. And if I don't stop, st 
talking here in a second, I, I will be on my next project. But um, I'm also going to two-tone the dash. We've got the dash painted. We painted it last night. Uh, we painted the, the door and the lipstick holder. I even cut the little tiny piece out right there. I cut the little tiny piece out. I noticed when I was doing it where you butt your cigarette out, I cut that out so Jolene would have no problem putting her lipstick in there or her eyeliner or whatever. So now it's not an ashtray, it's a lipstick holder. Um, so we've got the dash painted and I want to two-tone it. I know where the stainless is going because I have the holes there. And what I have to do is somehow seal this off so I do not get any paint on this. And also, if I do get a little bit of paint on it, I'm not real scared because I can compound it off. And the, basically what I'm saying is I'm not going to sand this area. So when, if I get paint on top of it, it should come off fairly easy. But I'm hoping not to get any paint on it. So what I'm going to do right at the present moment is I'm going to flip the dash and put it up here on this. I'm going to put a rag over here, put a rag over here. I'm going to measure that. Put the rags just like that so it hit on the corners. And I'm going to flip it over. I hope you like that measuring stick. <laughs> uh, now, just going to flip it over here best I can without causing any grief. Hopefully I can get this corner on a rag. And then get that corner on a rag. Just, just protect it a little bit, that's all. It was just painted yesterday. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tape and I'm going to try to get some holes taped off. Got some tape right here. Oh, I'll get Jolene a little way. Jolene s sneezed the other day and uh, she's in a hard situation again for a minute. She's, but she's doing well. She's, pu she's putting on a good face, boy. She's putting on a good face. And what I mean by a good face is uh, she's doing good. I'm just going to, just don't know exactly how I want to do this yet, to be honest with you. Just don't want no, want no, no paint going through on that side. Just trying to seal it off the best I can. paint going through and you have to do that too because if you don't you'll have to have yourself a mess so you can see how much work it, it takes to two-tone something when you two-tone something you you may as well double the price that's that's why factories don't two-tone their cars it costs more money I, I would say that's why low well that is why low rider paint jobs are so much money because of the amount of work has to go into them. You have to really think of that. The amount of work has to go into something to have two, three, and four different colors um, is amazing how much, how much work has to go into something. And material. Every time I take a string of this tape, it's money. I'm, I'm throwing off money and pulling off money when I pull that tape thing off. That's what I'm doing. It's called money. Now. I'm going to try to do this as quick as I can. I don't know if there's any quick way to do it, but I'm going to do it as quick as I can. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just trying to get a hold, get the holes dealt with so no paint goes through and gets to the other side. Try to. I'm going to pull this out of the way a little bit. The trunk lid is a lot of work. Uh, um, I, I, I've, I've uh, blown it off, blown it off, blown it off, and blown it off. And what I mean by that is take an air hose and blow it off and blow it off because of the dirt that's inside of them things. There was a mouse house inside of it. You also can see the pieces that I put in the dash. If you want to come over this way, sweetheart, you can see all the little pieces I put in there. You can see the piece I welded on that side. You can see all the, all the work that was done 
to make. Hmm. Don't know if I'm doing this right, but my brain is telling me that I have to tape this all off so nothing comes out through. And also do the front side. Just don't want no, no paint coming through, that's all. I'm getting on the white. spray paint up in there so I have to have some kind of something there hold the paint out you know the trunk lid you know uh, I got my I've got my brain and gear already I know the trunk lid I'm gonna get dirt on that laying that down like that um, I've I've cleaned it I've blown it I've done everything you can to it it's just I know that I'm gonna get dirt in it so I've got my brain and gear to accept it sometimes you have to realize that and to put your brain in gear that's with a lot of things in life I find you have to put your brain in gear to accept things because sometimes everything doesn't work out the way you want it to. And uh, we all know, or we should know, there's nothing in life that you can control except your actions. It's the only thing you can control. And sometimes it's hard to do that. <laughs> and I'm talking from experience. <laughs> I work on it every day, though. I really do. I work on it. Um, I work on it because I have to. Because um, I have to. Or I want to, not because I have to, because I want to. There's a difference, I guess. I want to. All righty. I'm going to just put, put some tape on them holes there, too, because they're there. Don't have to go that far with that. Now. and stuff that full there just so I can't get any paint coming through. Jolene wants to thank everybody for all the votes. It's going well. She's still in first place. We want to appreciate everybody that, you know, shows us love. You know, anybody that shows love, I appreciate it. You know, you throw throwing a good comment, talking good stuff. Appreciate it. Really, it really helps. It helps, you know. It helps me behave myself. <laughs> you know, it helps me behave myself, and I want to show appreciation for that because sometimes not not enough people get it when they need it, and uh, I get it. So I want to thank everybody for for do, for doing that for me. You know, I don't have to go very far. Um, to feel good about myself, I just read a few comments that people throw out, and I want to thank you. You know, you don't you don't have to, obviously. And uh, sometimes I'm thanking the wrong people with my conversation. You understand what I'm saying? Just gonna keep cleaning this up here a little bit. Just keep putting tape on it. That's all I'm gonna do, just to make sure. So I appreciate all the people that join the, the fan page, all the people that watch the YouTube, all the people that watch, you know, that, you know, that are here on this journey with us, because we are on a journey, that's for sure, we're on a journey, and uh, we're going through life, that's the journey we're on, if you're wondering, going through life, and building cars on Sundays. That's the way, that's generally the, the times you get to do it is on a Sunday when you get time off from that job, that 
monotonous job that people have sometimes, you know, you have to do the things you got to do. And now, I'm painting the top. Just going to figure this out for a second. I'm not interested in paint taping off the front of this lovely dash. I'm not interested in it because I'm afraid of leaving marks on it, on the paint from the tape. That's what I'm afraid of. But I've got to do, to, do it to two-tone it. So I'm going to flip it over. And I also have, like I said, I have, we have nice shiny paint. So I got my brain in gear. If anything gets on it, I'm hoping that I'll be able to compound it off. What I mean by compound is a, is it would be a, what Jim Patterson is doing to his Ferrari. And if I have a problem with anything, I think Jim's the man. I think Jim would be the man to help me out. I'm going to knock this over back over there on that thing. We haven't got to see Jim for a while, and basically what's going on is called uh, winter is taking over, and we're all in a hard way here in Nova Scotia right now. The power's in and out sometimes. Uh, it's just a hard time right now in the winter time. Jim, like, like Jim said, he, he's out, in, out doing his car out in the garage because of the fact that, um, you know, what else do you do in the winter time? Sit in the house all day? No. Nope. Go and work on your car. Go and work on your car. Alrighty. I'm saying that I've got, there's a hole right there. I'm saying that I've got the holes somewhat locked up. We're going to tape the front up. We're going to tape this front up, obviously. But when I'm spraying it and it, they're spraying the top here, I don't want anything going up underneath and coming up through the holes. That's all. I think that's understandable. If it's not, I'm hoping that I've explained it to you. Basically it. Hope I explained it to you. So Sunday, fun day is the day to get something done on your car or on your ride. Basically, or try to, you know. A lot of people don't get to work on their cars during the week, and I feel for you, but I just can't reach you. I gotta put some glasses on to see that. Also, I haven't got the shop, like, you know, as clean as it should be. Have not got it as clean as it should be for painting cars, obviously. I'm sanding out there, blowing it off out there, leaving the door open. And the reason I'm leaving the door open, because once I pull that door down, I have to come in through this door. It's just, just a hassle. Not into it right now. I don't know if this tape is even any good, but I'd like to have a fine line on there, just so I do not have to put as much tape on the dash as possible. What I'm going to do is, is I've got the holes here. That's where the stainless goes on. So I'm just going to go right over top of the hole because we know the stainless is going to go over top. That's where the hole is for the molding or for the, tr no, not for the molding, for the clip. Sorry. It's the molding for the clip or the hole for the clip. Get my words right this morning. Come on, Chetty. Going over top. Going over top of the hole. And I'm saying that it would help. I think Fina's, I heard a little wolf. Did you hear that little wolf? I gotta let Fina in, because she's our dog. And uh, that's my responsibility. Alrighty, got a little tape on that. Reason I put all that tape on the back side, like I said before, I don't want, I do not want any paint coming up through and getting on our white. Just trying to do the best job I can. And I, I suspect that you would do the same. I suspect that you would do the same. She's mad. I gotta go get her. It's cold outside. I think everybody understands. And if you don't, it doesn't matter. Does it, Fina? It doesn't matter. We're on air. I want to thank the, the person for that. We forget sometimes that we're on air. But when I put that sign on, like Jolene said this morning, uh, when you put that sign on, it should be, a, you know, you should remind yourself that you're on air and uh, let's go get them.
Let's, 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 let's go get them. And what it means by go get them is uh, have the best hour that we can and be as positive as we can full time. And it's best to be positive. Yes, it is. And I, I'd like to apologize to the, the good people of the page if I sometimes get not positive. Um, it's not what I desire. It's just life. You know, that's how life goes sometimes. And uh, me and Jolene have got a new rule. We're only allowed to complain for five minutes. And then you have to shut it off. After you complain for five minutes, it's over. <laughs> right? Sounds like a good rule, doesn't it? You're only allowed to complain for five minutes because nothing is going to get changed. Nothing is, you know, nothing is different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a piece of paper on that and I hope I got enough paper. And, and to, to be honest with you, um, no, well, I'm always honest with you, but this, 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 you know, what we do is for the people that want to work on their cars and, and, you know, have fun with it. That's basically what it's for and nothing else. Uh, I have a piece of tape on the wall here. What I like to do sometimes is just put my paper on the wall and then put my tape on. So I got a little bit of a little bit of paper here. I don't know how much paper I got left. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's that much, does it? So what I'm going to do is, hmm, I'm going to cut it in half. What? Oh, is it didn't roll out? It's not very much paper, is it? All right, we'll we'll use we'll use. Uh, we're almost there. We'll just do what we got to do. Get this on here. I'm going to try to leave. Usually, generally, I'll put it up on the wall there and try to do it that way. But uh, just tape it on like this. What I'm trying to do is put the tape on the tape and none on the paint other than underneath the trim. Because you can, or I have, put um, paper or tape, put tape on the new freshly paint, and when you peel it off, you'll see, you'll see the texture of the tape on your paint. I have done that before. And if it happens, I'm just, I'll just take a little compound. I keep saying compound. I'm hoping that I don't have to use compound. Take a little compound, and uh, I'll take it off. So. This is not my forte. My forte. What I mean by forte, I don't. I don't like taping a lot. I can do it, and I do it. Tape ain't sticking for some reason. Why aren't you sticking? Taping is not my forte. Some people like taping, but I am not a person that enjoys it. I do it because I have to. Obviously, what's wrong with that tape underneath there? It's not sticking to that. Don't like it. Not sticking. Yeah, I could I could string it right out and go for it, but I'm just going to rip a little piece off at a time just to make sure I get it done correctly. Try to do it correctly. That tape is not sticking. Grr. Grr. You want to see me get ugly? That tape is not sticking. down on it well see look it just come off there too damn it it's not going to make me happy especially if it comes off during paint you know what I'm trying to tell you all right
and cut a little bit of paper off that. Just have to make sure that's on there. Because it means something. It means whether I get it done right or wrong. <laughs> and I want it done right. What's that? Would the heat gun make it stick better? It, it very well could. But right at the present second, uh, I need a piece of, I don't want to put the heat gun on the very second. Nope. I'd like, it, I'd like to see it just stick. Would be nice. That would make me happy. What I'll do is I'll take the paper and fold it underneath the dash. But I'm going to cut a piece off at first. Mind you, wrapping Christmas gifts, doesn't it? Just gonna put a little tape on that. Wonder if can... Come on now, behave. What's that, sweetheart? You want to jump in, and help me, don't you? You like taping. Jolene likes taping. She'd like to jump in and help. But she's got enough to do right now with the camera. Don't you? It's it's staying. It looks like it's staying right now. Got to run some down here. And I'm not spraying paint on the face of this. No, no, I just don't want spraying paint getting on that face. That's all. And uh, sometimes it can, and it'll bite you in the ass if you're not watching, paying attention. I just don't want to make more work when it comes time to, I don't want to make more work. Flack that around there like that. I'm just going to tape this on the sides here. So if you ever get your dash paint in your car and it costs you some money, you'll know why, because there's work involved. Lots of it, especially if you leave it inside the car and try to do it. Wow, there's work involved. Lots of work. Alrighty. Lots of work involved. Look, I haven't got that taped up. That very easily can pull paint off. Yes, it can. It very easily can pull paint off. Just have to be careful, and, and I'll have to recognize it when I get that straight along there. I think I will. What the hey? Because I can make it look a little better for when I peeled off. Might have some orange up there, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, take flip this up flip the paper under and take some more tape just want to look tape over that this is the journey I'm on today just trying to get the dash painted without getting orange paint on the white that's the journey I'm on today And it's a good journey because I'm with Jolene, you know, Jolene's here with me 
Uh, we're doing something together. It's Sunday fun day. I'm not going to be out here all day, but I am going to get some orange paint on this dash, and I'll be happy Monday. I'll be happy Monday. And if you get something done in your car, you know, Sunday, which when you go back to work Monday, you'll be happy. You're building your own car, doing your own thing. I'm going to go to the other end. If I have to waste any tape to make sure I get the job done right, I'm going to. Just to let you know. I'm going to get some. Don't really want to put tape on the face of it, but I don't want to. I don't have to get any tape on that. I don't or paint on that orange paint on that. There, I don't want to. If I don't have to, piece in the bottom here. Flip up. Good. That was a good save right there. A little bit of tape. A little bit. Of, it's good. looking it over. You see anything, Jolene? Jolene's my queen. She looks amazing today. As always. As always. She's she's hurting a little bit, but she's good. She's tough. Now I got a little spot right here. Throw some tape in there, try to get that up in there. Basically, I'm putting the tape to it because, you know, you really don't really want to get the colors mixed up or together. And I'm, I'm thinking that we're, we're looking good. No, Jolene's looking good. The dash is taped. That's what's going on. Alrighty, hope that don't come up in any way. And like Jolene said, I could throw a heat gun on that tape um, and make that glue come alive. I'm just feeling like that the, that the tape underneath of it is kind of a cheaper tape, the little fine line tape I got going on there. And I just didn't want to put just checking it out, that's all. Just checking it out, seeing if it's, it's not sticking either. I am going to take the heat gun and do that, Marilyn. I am, I am, I am. I'm a little nervous of it. And uh, it won't hurt for a second. Just run a little. All I'm doing is warming the, warming the glue up. That's all I'm doing. Just trying to. Make sure it sticks. Just a little tiny bit of heat. Some difference. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna call it it for that. I can't spend no more time on that, I don't think. Even though I'm 
it's not the time to rush is when you're painting things, that's for sure. No, it's not, believe me. Put a little more tape on that. Just make sure that's going good. Just want to make sure that's no place to leak through there. Have it back a little bit further. Good call, Jolene. You're more than just good looks. Alrighty, what I have to do now is I got that taped off. I'm gonna have to scratch that a little bit and I gotta blow this off. This, this, this trunk lid is concerning. The reason it's concerning is because uh, there's a lot of dirt on the trunk lid itself because I just sanded it down. Um, so I'm gonna click my brain in gear that if I get any dirt in it, it's okay. It's okay. And sometimes you have to click your brain in gear to realize that. And what's going on, I keep blowing it, keep blowing, stuff just keeps coming, just keeps coming. You could spend hours and hours and hours. Uh, I spent the hours and hours and hours blowing. I'm not gonna spend any more hours. I'm gonna blow it off. I'm gonna sand that first. We'll blow that off and then we'll, we'll blow some paint on. Let's, how am I gonna sand that off? Uh, I don't feel like it needs a big sand, and the reason being is uh, it's, it's, what can I say? It's just painted yesterday, so if I had a scratch pad, I'd be very happy, but I don't know if I got a scratch pad, to be honest with you. I had one when we did the engine, but I think I used it up. Did I not? I think I did. No, nope. one right there, look at that now, would you? God love her. I don't know if that's too rough or not, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it, I got one right there. I don't, I don't know what grit this is. I do not know what grit this is, but I am not going to rub it hard enough to affect anything, I don't think. You can hear it. I'm just gonna rub it a little tiny bit. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. I'm just gonna more or less scratch it. That's all I'm doing. You can hear it scratching it, can't you? I can hear it scratching it. Not gonna bear on it whatsoever. Although I do wanna scratch fairly decent right here where the line is. And the reason being is when I pull the tape off, I want the paint to stay. If you know what I'm trying to say, I want the paint to stay. And this, and this grit, this, this thing here could be very well, could be too rough a grit. I'm not sure, but I don't think I'm pressing hard enough for it to affect anything. All I'm doing is scratching the new paint. Just want the paint to stick. That's all I want to do. I, I'm like I'm almost I'm 80% sure. I'm 80% sure that the paint would stick even if I didn't sand it. And the reason I'm saying it would stick because it didn't sand it because of the time that it was painted. Like it's only been painted for one day. So I'm feeling like if I painted it, it would, it would adhere because of the time that it's been painted. So if you want to write in a comment what grit this is, you're more than welcome. I don't know what grit it is, but I'm thinking that the paint's going to stick no matter what anyways because of the time that it's been painted. I only painted it last night. I probably could get away with it. I'm hoping I'm not rubbing any oils on it. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not, believe me. And I have a chance to, because it's sitting out there where everything's oil, <laughs> the motors and all that stuff. I have a chance to, because it's on the bench. Not gonna scrub it real hard. Just kind of wishing, washing over it very lightly. I don't wanna cause myself any problems. This is urethane paint. Nason's paint, I get from my local Napa store. They treat me right, they deliver.
Now, I'm going to say that that's good enough. And the reason being is because it's fresh paint. I'm thinking that it's going to bite, no problem whatsoever. It's going to bite. So anybody working on their car today, I hope that things go well. And remember, it's the journey. You know, it's the journey of building it. All the memories, all the times. You know, especially when you get talking, like people come here and talk about their old cars. It's generally the talking about the times they had when they were building it. You know? And then you look back on it and say, wow, that was fun. Alrighty. I'm going with that. I think I am, yeah. Laughing at me, hear that? Jolene, you look good, you know that, huh, baby? Ah, oh, Jolene looks good. Alrighty. Now, I'm saying that's good. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray that. It's fine. And the reason I said that, that's fine. That's one thing is fine, is because of it just got sprayed yesterday. I feel it would stick no matter what, anyways, just because of the how how fresh it is. It's not as fresh as Jolene, but it's fresh. Rubbing it very lightly. Very lightly. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this back in there. Um, our fan situation is still, I feel like the fan is even causing dirt because it's shaking the whole paint room. It's just vibrating like a son of a gun. But it's Sunday fun day, and I want to paint some stuff. If I do not paint stuff and go forward, then I feel like I'm not doing anything. And today is the day to get something done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we'll turn, um, I'll put this back. We'll turn the fan on. I'm going to blow things off for a little bit, clean up just a little bit, and then we'll mix some paint. So I'll just put this back. I'm going to, let's, let's turn the fan on. There's going to be quite a bit of noise. I got the air turned off. It's always nice when the fan, when the air compressor comes right on, right on and it gives you a whoo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Haven't said that for a while, have I? Alrighty, let's get some. I'm not going to blow on that very hard. Don't want to blow the paper off it. And you have to be careful that once you do something like that and get it rocking and rolling, that you do not blow the paper off something that you've just fixed or just done. I'm just going to cover this tape up. Good idea on the tape. If your tape is not sticking, Throw a heat gun on it for a second. That's a tip by Jolene. Throw a heat gun on it for a second and get the glue soft. And I know that works because when I take the sanding discs off the DA, I usually use the heat gun to heat them up, to pull them off nice. That's what I do. I'm gonna use one of these rags. I'll use one of the rags to clean it later, but I just wanna blow things off here for a minute. Turn the fan on, I'm in circles. We've got the floor wet. We had it wet. Just so when the water, when the dirt falls, falls in the water. So I know if I get any dirt in the dash, I know who to call. Jimbo. Jimbo buffer out. Just gonna take my hand and wipe it on at the same time only to see if there's any dirt. dirt. Feels good. Not as smooth as you though, Jolene.
That feels good. I feel good. What's that song? Does that feel good and I know it? Or is it by Pitbull? What's that song called? What's it? I feel good. I like to play that song while I'm painting, but can't do that on YouTube, I guess. It's been a long time since a person's been able to go out and have a dance. tiny pieces of dirt that I can feel that's in the paint. Just gonna take a piece of 400 and just go very lightly. Don't scratch it too heavy. I don't think it matters much. Fan gonna take off? I'm just gonna leave it. It's too soft really to paint, well, or to, I feel like it's kind of, the paint's kind of premature to be sanding on with a 400 button. I don't even like what it did there, to be honest with you. I'm gonna get that scratch pad again. That was 400. Here we go. This is the stuff you get into. You know when paint's a little early, uh, you know when paint's a little early to be sanding on it is when it rolls up in your paper. It didn't really roll up in the paper, it just made the paint look dirty. That's all. No biggie. We're not going to stress it. We're going to paint it. I'm gonna turn that off for a second. Just because it's not doing so well. I'm gonna get the Windex. We'll wash the stuff down. I'm going to spray this rag and wipe the dash off. Because I don't want to get the paper wet. Just wanna wipe it off. Want to be smart about things, I guess. Try to be. I don't think the urethane is your ideal paint to two tone a day after the next day. I don't think it's ideal, but 
we're going to do it. Just going to take our time and uh, two-tone it. Alrighty. Now, I find, like now that I got the stuff painted, I find if I have to paint it again, I'd, like when the paint's really nice and dry, it's been dry for a week or two or whatever, you really can get a nicer job the second time because the, pa the paint itself holds less dirt than the primer does. The, the primer, I find that primer holds a lot of dirt in the primer. When you're sanding it in the sand scratch, it holds a lot of dirt, I find. And uh, once you paint something, I find the second time around, you can get a better job if you're painting something. Um, let's face it, if you've got something you don't like, um, you've got a bit of dirt in it, um, you do not like it, the second time around, I find generally turns out a little bit nicer because of the fact that the paint, the pores of the paint, don't hold as much dirt as the primer does. Um, I think we should all, we all should realize that um, really, 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 really nice cars are not just paint at once. Um, sometimes it takes a couple times to, to get a really nice job on something, you know. Let's face it, it takes a really, you know, to get a really nice job, sometimes it takes a couple paint jobs. And the reason being is this, this primer will hold so much dirt. It'll hold so much dirt. I'm just going to spray it down, get it clean. And you can see it when it comes off in the rag. When, when, you, paint some, when you paint something and you've got a, a base of paint on it, it holds less dirt talking twice I know sometimes I talk twice sometimes I talk to myself so I remember myself and it's just called repeat sometimes I just repeat what I'm saying have to be careful on these 50s cars the inside construction sometimes let let's go and uh, you can have an issue with when you pick it back up so when I go to pick it back up I could have an issue on the other side because of Inside construction has let go from the outside construction. Sometimes you can have that issue. I've had that issue before. So what I generally try to do is hold up on the trunk lid and try to do that. And there's so much work when it comes to the underneath of the trunk lid. I mean, let's face it, now there's just much work underneath as there is on top. Uh, the underneath, I have to do two paint jobs underneath. I have to go underneath there and get all them little pads, make them look nice. And what I mean, the pads is the insulation pieces. Uh, generally, the underneath of a trunk lid or a hood does not look that good. So it takes hours to make it look good. What I mean by that is you have to take off all the poo-poo that's underneath them. Because from factory, they don't look that... Well, nowadays they look good, but back then they, they didn't really throw a lot of love and care underneath underneath the trunk lid, it did not. had insulation underneath there. It, uh, you can see by the dash of the car, when they painted the inside of the car, they didn't give a lot of love and care in there. They put the stuff on, and that's what they had to do, and that's what they done. And I respect them for it. It's just, when you come to these cars, you have to put a little more t time and effort in it to make it look good. A newer car, you, it's all nice underneath there. An older car, it's not so nice underneath there sometimes. So, I spent a couple hours this morning doing the underneath of this trunk lid because it had to be sanded. And I guide coated it. You can see a little bit of guide coat in the pads. Um, I did not bother with that too much because of the simple reason is that that's going to be covered with a rocker guard. I'm going to tape it off again and do it again, just like the, the, da the dash. It's going to be two-toned, but it's going to have rock guard in the pa pads to make it look like insulation like it would have. Like it would have. And I've gotten my brain already that if I get dirt in it, do not be upset. It's the underneath. It's inside the trunk lid. It'll be okay. Jolene, how you feeling? This is what she said, boys. 
We want to appreciate all the votes on the jet setter. She's doing good. She's doing good. And it's because of you people. It's because of all the good people. And remind yourself, um, if you're sending no to vote for Jolene, you're a good person. And the reason I say that is because you don't have to. And, and you do. So thank you very much. We see the good in you. How's that? We see the good in you. Alrighty. I'm going to say, <laughs> and then I'm going to paint the underneath this trunk lid. That looks good. That looks good. I feel good. Alrighty. Let's get some paint rolling here. You okay, baby? Yep, the old sneeze took her out. I'm going to paint it with a small gun again. I have good luck with it, so I'm going to use it again. And uh, with the dash, I, I'd rather use the small gun, so I'm not going to have two guns going. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, uh, yes, uh, there was, there, uh, I realize, uh, yes, I realize when I pour it in the cup, there's less paint and more of this and more of that. There would be more hardener and more reducer yes there would be i do not mind having the paint a little thinner than it should be i'll break back to don't go anywhere no sense to just gonna get my glasses i don't mind the paint being a little thinner than it should be don't mind that i'd rather have it thinner than thicker yes i would thinner than thicker i'm gonna go Three for now. Uh, you think about that for a second. When you spray a spray bomb, it's really thin. Unless you hold it right to it, it's it's hard to get a get a run in that. You know, if you're not moving or something, it's hard to get a run in it because it's nice and thin, and it seems to flash off a little faster. I'm finding that basically I'm doing the same thing with the way I'm mixing it. I find it flashes off a little quicker. Also, uh, the texture is a little better. It's a big thing with the texture, you know. You get a texture that's rough and uh, orange peely. Um, it's hard to do much of anything with it, you know. It's hard to sand it down to get it to buff it, to cut and buff. I generally don't cut and buff anything. I just you generally paint them and go. Unless, unless... Um, if if I have to if I have to cut and butt it cut and buff it if I'm playing with a different playing field so if I'm doing um, any outdoor car show I would never cut and buff anything if I was going to an indoor car show um, I pretty you pretty well have to because everybody else is cutting and buffing it you know what I mean like you pretty well have to what am I doing there you pretty well have to to, to keep up but to do an outdoor car show just Paint your car and be happy, man. Paint your car and be happy. You know, unless you're getting serious about it, and then, then go for it. Then go for it if you want to cut and buff it. But you have to, you know, we have to go with the playing field that you're playing with. Generally, I do not cut and buff anything unless I, unless I say if I'm not playing in the, in the playing field that, that I have to do that. And generally, um. I'm not doing too many indoor car shows. I'm not doing too many indoor car shows. We're in Nova Scotia, <laughs> where cars are meant to be driven. And that's a long process. It's a long process is to cut, is to sand something down, cut it, cut it down with sandpaper and buff it back up to its uh, to its shiny, long drawn up process. Alrighty, let's get this going here. Man, I'm gonna have a trunk lid painted today. Sunday fun day, baby. Sunday fun day. Cars is off. I'm gonna check the tape on the on the dash really closely before I paint it. 
And the reason being is because I do not want to get orange on that white. Alrighty. What I am going to do is I think I'll spray the trunk lid first. And the reason being is because I want to see how the gun's working. Feels good. Oh, good. You're always getting smart. You don't have to go in there and follow me around, huh? I'm going to throw the rest of the paint on this trunk lid for now.
The reason I threw a little more paint on that trunk lid because I went through in a couple places and it had a couple little, like it was dark where it was where I started to hit metal and uh, I just put a little extra paint on that so when I come back in to give it another coat for next time, hopefully I get that covered up and you don't see it. Uh, the dash went well. The dash went really well. Now we just gotta wait for it to dry. I've got enough paint in. I've got enough paint in there to uh, to fill the gun, and there'll be some left over. But I don't like pouring the paint in the gun and letting it set before I go paint. And the reason being is I find that I've had it, um, so the hardener or whatever it becomes unstirred or unmixed, and sometimes the hardener will fall inside the paint. And sometimes it doesn't work that well. I like to keep it there and stir it before I put it in the gun. I don't like to let it set in the gun because I'm going to let it set for a little bit because we've got paint on and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to have to mix more paint, but things are going good. You can tell I only keep the fan open so far. You can tell it's got that picked up. It really, that fan really hauls. If I if I didn't have that door on that fan, it pulls, it pulls air from the front door, it pulls air from the back door, we have gaps everywhere. So I, generally, I try to cut the pull down on the fan just so it has less pull. Um, you can feel the door open when I open that fan up. So basically that's what I'm doing. Uh, so we're just letting, we got a little bit of paint out here because I painted the trunk lid sort of going this way, but everything looks good. Looks good. One thing I'm very happy with is I didn't get a, I didn't see a whole bunch of dirt falling in the trunk lid. And the reason I'm talking loud is because that fan is loud. Can you hear the fan? Like the fan is loud. Like I got a, what happened is I welded the cage back together. Um, the engine or the motor is still rocking in it. I took a piece of angle iron and put it on the bottom of the of the electric motor and screwed on this side, screwed on this side, so the, so the thing is just rocking on top of this piece of angle iron I got going across. And uh, we're just doing what we have to do before we get a new fan. Uh, with the weather that we're having, I don't want to go up there and change it. And it's probably not the time to go get one, basically. So we're working in a pickle, but we're doing the best we can. So I'm just kind of watching the paint dry. I will put definitely three coats on, there'll be definitely three coats on the trunk lid underneath. On the dash, it covered up really nice. I might just go with two, who knows? It all depends. I don't, I don't find that um, thicker paint makes look anything look better. I find it just it, it gathers, but we'll see what happens. And I showed you the two colors together. I think it's really going to pop with a little bit of black in between those. I think it's really going to pop. Pepsi, that is. Pepsi pop. So we're six days without any alcohol. And I can feel the difference already. I pulled my pants on. Never had a bit of problem. Never had a bit of problem. Uh, I, I find that liquor makes me hold. Makes me hold. Fina's bored with my conversation. Oh, she bored with my conversation. We'll be done in a bit. We'll go down. We will. She knows I'm talking to her. See, I told you. You don't, you don't have to get, no, you go lay down. So I start, if I'm, I'm sorry if I start patting you. You know what's going to go on? I'm going to have a fina hair in the paint job. So that's, that's generally why I don't pat her. I Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. I'll have a Fina hair in the paint job, guaranteed. That's why I don't patter during the paint jobs.
that dash is dashing. Man, I like that paint. I like the color. I'm liking the color. Really enjoying it. You want to paint your Bugatti that color? Basically. You must admit, if every time I come out here, I get a little something done, the quicker it's going to go. I've got the underneath the hood to do. I've got the piece welded on. The piece that got welded on is not, not something that I desired having on there, but it look, it does the job. But I still got to strip the hole underneath of that hood. I've got to prime it, and then I've got to sand it. How much work is involved in doing that? that really, that's a big job that has to be done. And before I do that, I must. I'm hoping that I get the outside of it fitting good because I don't want to prime and paint it and then have to prime the outside. I want the outside done before I do that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to get into blocking this car out soon and uh, seeing what it's all about. I know there's a lot of work yet, let, yet left to do. We'll see what happens. That fan seems like it's it wants to take off and go somewhere, but I hope it stays. Seems good. Let's give it a couple minutes. I like, doesn't matter. No paint on my finger. Maybe the wrong finger, but. A little bit of paint I rubbed off. We'll just wait for a minute. Um, what I like about I like the trunk lid. It looks clean and smooth with the lip gone, eh? You notice that? Looks good and smooth. Trunk lid's probably going to get three coats for sure. That Probably that means the dash will too, but... A couple more pieces painted, baby. A couple more pieces. I got the inside. The doors have to be all painted. I think the doors are basically fairly good, I think. But the inside of the doors have to be painted, all the door jams have to be painted, all the underneath has to be painted again. Uh, prop, that's, going to be a, that's going to be a summer thing. Come on, summer! We're looking for a good summer. And a lot more things can get done in the summertime, eh? The Joan Lee's car can come down off that, make the table, see what happens. All right, I'm going to put some more paint on. So I'm basically saying, this is what I'm thinking, the way that I'm mix mixing this paint is the reason, is the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that it's flashing off so quick. And I'm not getting real big texture. I'm not getting no texture, actually. It's coming nice and smooth, to be honest with you. So I don't have to hit the, the pads in the, in the trunk lid. I don't have to make sure they're covered. I do not, and the reason being is because I'm going to rock guard those. I'm going to take them off, rock guard them. So I might just paint the outsides of it this time. Well, I'll just paint it. I start trying to separate things, and that's when I have a problem. Don't want any problems. I don't want any problems.
put the rest of that on the on the trunk lid and then I'll mix some new stuff up for the for the for the dash Gotta mix some more. I probably could have went with the other gun, but I'm happy with this, I guess. Be the end of that. Nope. Hardener first. I might have to fill my gun up a little bit more to do the bottom of the trunk lid, but this is the gun for the dash, so I'm happy. I feel like this is the gun for the dash, and the reason I feel like this is the gun for the dash, I don't want to cause a big bunch of pressure for that little tiny bit. Nope, do not. Everything's going good, I think. Everything's going good. I have to walk back and forth a little bit, but that's okay. Making sure I'm getting everything. Looking good. Also, you got to be careful, careful when you're painting that line that we're not building that up and having it bridge. I'm 
worried about that. A little bit of tape looks like it's coming up, you know what I mean? But that's right where the stainless goes on, so we should be fine. Truck flip, look, that's looking good. We'll probably wait and do another, we'll do another one. Don't know if we have to or not, really. I've got the paint mixed up, so we're gonna we're gonna go for another one. But we're actually what we'll do is we'll give away a shirt or a hat right now. But I've got the paint mixed up. You can see what it looks like. It looks awesome. Man, I like that color. I like it. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. Joey's walking a little slow. She's a little sore. Uh. Watch that door and I pull that open. How that the door hole's open because that fan. That fan's only open a little ways. You can that fan pulls hard. Uh, we're gonna do this. Get something coming here. Got a little paint on me, sweetheart. We don't want it on your computer. I'll let you take it. Got it? Don't want it on that thing either. <laughs> I'm a hard, hard. I'm just gonna get a rag real quick. Well, I'm going to thank everybody for coming to Sunday Fun Day. We're on air, and we're getting a little bit done today. We're getting a little bit of paint sprayed on the dash, a little bit of paint sprayed on the underneath of the trunk lid, and we're going to give away a hat or shirt to a person that has taken their time and thrown out a comment. Getting lots of comments lately. We appreciate it. 479 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate all the comments. Tony Lashmet. Is that right? Tony Lashman, thanks for commenting. Man, we're going to read your comment. Even as a youngster, I cleaned my model car bodies with Windex prior to painting them. That makes me smile. Awesome, awesome. Um, you knew exactly what, you, what kind of stuff you needed. You were thinking about what you needed to wash your car off. And basically, you went to what was easiest, as far, far as I'm concerned. Like, uh, you knew that it cleaned a window. You knew it cleaned your model car. And that's cool. And that's basically how I, I started using it. I didn't have the the, uh, the pre-wash, but I wanted to paint the car. I had the, had the paint, I had the will, I had the want. Um, what can I use? And that's what I did. I went for it. And I've done it ever since. It works for me. It's reasonable. And you win a hat or a shirt of your choice. You come back tomorrow. We'll unmask the dash. And maybe we'll, I don't, I don't know if we'll mask up the, the trunk lid and do that black in there yet or not, but we'll unmask the dash and we'll do something other than that. Check in tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for popping in. Sunday, fun day. I hope that you get something done in your car.